Greetings. So this is a video on how I paint my Deathwing Terminators. Right, so first off, I would spray these about in black. And then I would go in and put that um, shadow color on the whole thing. For these now, I would use five parts Ashranti Bone Air and one part about in black air. So when you've got all the grooves underneath and everything, it's got that shadow already in there. So when we uh, give it some Nola later, it will give us a nice shadow. So we have a nice soft dry brush. I've just got a cheapy brush here to see how soft it is. Ashbanti Bone Air. So remove, work it into the bristles and basically have next to nothing on the brush. So we've got enough to stain the armor. And what we're wanting to do is basically on this first pass, just lighten the armor but more towards all the parts that would be seen by the light. So don't worry about the direct underneath and also like up inside the armpit, under the legs and stuff like that. So it looks like this. And what we're gonna do now is another pass more towards the lighter parts even though look i've managed to miss a piece here which i do want to like we'll try and repair that one little bit on the front of the armor there which i'm going to fill in by a brush later and ink it but now we've got some wraith bone base paint wraith bone and again i'm going to work in most of the paint into the bristles and then work it out so now it's this is going to be used for even more the highlighted areas so it'll be more the top parts of the arm here the top parts of the shoulder the back being very selective not to go over the top like we did the last time. This is more highlighting the more lighter areas. And feel free to give this one or two passes, but it should look like that. At this stage, I just put down some astro granite texture paint just for the sake of when I'm inking the model, I can ink it all at the same time. So next, Caliban Green Air. And again, this just goes on all the parts which you want. I, I prefer like doing the robes and the... Uh, stuff the textured stuff all in green but there might be some like iconography or heraldry that you might want green as well or if you haven't got the tabard or capes and stuff like that sometimes your ropes you'll do green now corn red air so we're gonna pick out any parts that we want red now like on the shoulder and this decorative piece. I don't do the eyes until I've done the inking, so I don't worry about any lenses or eyes like that until last. But no, it's just going around and picking out all the red bits. Now, for some metal colors. Now the metal I like using is Model Air's Gun Metal. 
and this is basically just picking out the metal on the boots, the metal pipes, the metal vents. Camera, collars, you know, and the crux on the shoulder there. The gun, I'll almost paint entirely in this as well. And then this little decorative piece here. It's a nice thin paint because it's the air version. So, so next, a bad and black air. So I'm going to do this uh, like stomach guard in black. I'm going to do the housing on the gun in black. These air colors, you might need to do one or two coats, mainly because they're pre-thinned for the airbrush. I prefer them because it just means I can just go straight from the pot. And a little bit of water will just allow you to do just nice, easy cleanups or even make some shadowing if you want. Cream of pink. Now this one I'm going to use on the rope. Retribute or armor base color, and I'm just going to pick out some of the, the details now. Even the bullets. I like doing the uh, bullets in the magazine on these guns. A spanty bone air again, but this time it's going to be a nice thick coat. And we're going to use it on a uh, on the purity cells. A bit of string that is around the decorative knife that I've got here. White scar air. And this is going to be for this decorative piece here. You might need to use this for some stuff as well. We're going to use this in the eyes in a bit as well. It's brilliant white, this is. It has dried out. Which I do prefer using this white for a lot of jobs now. One or two coats and you're done. So now, no oil and a cotton bud now the cotton bud is going to be really interesting not to like so much rub it but try to suction off some of the null oil from the lighter parts the lightest parts of the armor or where it's pooling and stuff like that it's quite handy for that so What we're going to do is douse areas in null oil. And then we're going to come back and just draw away some of the null oil from the couple of areas just a tap or two here and there that's all you need you always come back and fix up so now it's just basically go around the armor cotton buds are quite handy for like suction some of the uh Cooled areas, but you can use your brush as well for some of the uh, worst offenders. You can get it back in the pot if need be, but yeah, I'm going to be using the cotton bud here just for lightening that armor up mainly. Now that 
that's all done. Just gonna start drawing some of the worst ones off and then just lightening up the arm and um, the armor with this combat now. Just drawing some of it away. So now we're going to leave that be to dry. So that's all dried out nicely now. It's surprising how much of a shady look it would give. But now that leg, I'm not too happy with that little bit on the leg. So I'm going to just go a little bit of a uh, base wraith band here. Got the excess off it. So there's next to nothing on the brush and I'm just gonna fix up one or two of these little areas here which I'm not too happy with and then a bit of null oil after it's dried and I'm just gonna dab those areas just to blend it in Next, I use this brush that I got for uh, holding the ink, but I don't use it for that anymore. I just use it for dry brushing because the bristles are quite fine. And I'm going to use some Elysium Blue now and just highlight the base with a dry brush. So, drying the blip green. And I'm gonna get a rubbish brush and take most of the paint off it and just use it to very carefully just highlight any edges that I deem should be lighter or even flat areas like that. Just get a little bit of dry brushing in those edges. But there's a little bit of uh, dry brush on those ropes as well. Corn red again. Now this time I'm just going to pick the eyes this time to work on and I'm just going to paint them a solid red for now. Then I'm going to get a tiny white dot and do all the lenses so a little dot in the middle of the lenses and also where he's looking in his eye. I'll, I'm one of those that likes to show a bit more uh, interest in the eye of what he's looking at. So I'll put a little dot there just to show what he's looking at or where his eye is. 
Next we add Spirit Stone Red and we're just going to put a nice gollop in the eye and it will tint the whole eye and the white dot before it gives it a nice orange hue to the dot. And I'll use this Talisar Blue contrast paint to um, do on the lenses on the model. And then blood for the blood god for this other lens because that's also a nice rich red that I like using for a quick lens. Mechanicus Grey and I'm just going to use this to edge highlight some of the edges on the gun. Wraith Bone again. Just gonna highlight the edges on the purity seals here. More the edges that are more facing up than anything. And just lighten up any sides that are more facing that way. Vallejo again with the gunmetal air paint and I'm just going around with doing all the studs and also highlighting anything facing up again. So there we have it, that is uh, my easy, quickly, you know, throw together, grim looking Terminators, which I like to throw out. Um, it took me like, not too long to do this, I, I tend to do them squads, but And, um, well, in this shot now then, we've added a couple of extra details like, which are just uh, transfers. It was just, it was fun just to paint them like this. It didn't take me too long. Um, the good thing about it is that, you know, I'm not having to spend my time doing most highlights or uh, blending and all the rest of it. I like doing terminators like this just for getting them on the board quickly and all the rest of it. it it's a nice dark grim effect. You know, I, it won't win any awards, but it's just nice to get the models fleshed out. Well, I hope that helps and it might inspire some to try some different paints or methods out and whatnot and yeah thanks for watching